Hey, Fear Minimalist is Sophia Lark of thefearminimalist.com, providing trauma recovery tools to help women of color heal the mother wound. So if you feel perpetually stuck in a toxic relationship with your mother, I'm going to share the real reason why you're not able to heal the mother wound, so keep watching. For the best trauma recovery tips, tools, and strategies, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you will always be in the know when I upload a new video every single week. If this is your first time joining me today, thank you so much for being here today. It's great to have you. I am also a survivor of mother wound trauma, a licensed professional counselor, a certified clinical trauma professional, helping women of color resolve their mother wound trauma and build resilience. What is the real reason you're not able to heal your mother wound? Well, the answer lies in your root programming. Now the root programming comes from the messages, the beliefs, the behaviors, the attitudes that your mother passed down to you through an insecure attachment style, which trained you to think about yourself in relation to others, uh, yourself in relation to yourself, and also yourself in relation to the rest of the world. And so you see life through a particular lens based on these messages, these beliefs, and these behaviors and attitudes that have been passed down to you through that attachment system. And so what happens is that this root programming for you, because you see the conflict between the truth of what is it, between you and your mother and the desired, what I call the illusion of the desired mother. So that root programming creates a, a counter to that conflict, that pain that you feel. It, it is a way for you to try to resolve the mother truth uh, that your mother couldn't provide the warmth, the support and the attention that you needed to become a fully thriving and independent adult. And so it's this fight against the truth of what your relationship is with your mother. This root pr programming is, is a very intricate, uh, entangled web. And so that creates this emotional cycle that goes around and around and around and around with these thoughts, these uh, beliefs, these attitudes that now have become your own. So they're not just what your mother did, it's what she did and it's now what you are doing to survive. This survival behavior, you've taken these on and you have internalized these beliefs as something that may be true for you uh, or that not necessarily may be, but you've internalized those as true. Now this vicious cycle, emotional cycle that maintains the mother wound is, is going on and on and on and on and on. And breaking that cycle requires an active, intentional practice of deprogramming the root programming. And so you have to be able to accept, you have to be able to break that cycle from the pain to the fear, all the way to blaming yourself for not being able to come up with solutions to get her to see. Because that's what the illusion of the desired mother is, is the attempt, is the work to get her to see how much pain she's caused you and you've created this illusion of what she can be. And your work is to make her what you are creating in your mind that she can be. And the fact is that she, she can't be it because if she could, she would have already done it. But what the, the real problem is, is that, and this is not your problem by the way, but the problem is that because she can't, she hasn't done her own work, she can't get there. You are trying to do the work for her. And so accepting that that can't be the case and then moving on to self work is the key to healing. So you break the cycle by saying she did this to me. I'm not happy about this, but I know I can't stay stuck here. So what do I need to do to move on? That's the beginning of breaking the cycle. And then when you figure out, you start to take steps to figure out what you need to do. This is called the self work. And you begin to create this environment of safety for your mind, your spirit, your body, and your relationships. And then you practice taking that safety in. That's, that's really what the healing the mother wound is about is acceptance and then creating this environment of safety to take in that safety so that you can become what you need. You can become your own mother. You no longer need her to be the things that, or the person she needs to be and to give you the things that you need because now you are in the position to give them to yourself. And so when I'm working with women one-on-one -on -one 
and, and some of you have worked with me, so you know what I'm talking about. We go through this whole, what this emotional cycle actually looks like. And then we approach it from the point of modifying the mindset around those negative narratives so that we can get to the point of understanding what happened. How did this lead to me believing this? How did it lead to certain feelings and behaviors? Behaviors are what I call protections and defenses. Because in response to those instilled messages, we've developed survival behaviors, survival tactics. And these are things that have kept us alive, although they are probably not very healthy in terms of being in a relationship with other people and also being accepting of our own of ourselves. That's what the work is, is breaking that cycle. Being able to get to the point of self-work where you're creating that safety for yourself and you're practicing taking that safety in. And that is how you get to the point where you're able to now lay that foundation to do the work that breaks that emotional cycle. It entails three things, mindset, communication, and boundaries. When you master those three things, there is no way that the mother wound works because you master how you think about, how you internalize these new beliefs that you have. So the old ones, they lose their potency. There, there's nothing that it, they can do. Even though you can remember the things that, that she did, they no longer have an effect. And then you're learning to communicate. So when you're around your mother, and, and a lot of this depends on how you set boundaries with her. You may have decided that you wanna go no contact. You, you may have gotten to the point, or you may get to the point, where you feel that, okay, it, it's just not best to be in a relationship with her. Uh, you know, I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to say anything to her because, you know, she is just crazy. And, I, and, and, and because she's not done her own work, and she's probably not ever going to do her own work, this is not going to be healthy for me moving forward, especially if you decide to have kids. And so depending on the kind of boundaries that you set with your mother, if you continue to have... Uh, some type of relationship with her, you're going to learn, you're going to have to learn how to communicate in a way that I call creating a kissing list, which means keep it short and simple and non-defensive. That's what that means. So communicating with her in a non-defensive way is going to keep her at bay from dragging you into her stuff. And it's frustrating you and it's triggering you and it's, it's putting you right back into that emotional cycle. Because when you get in that cycle, it's hard to get out. And so once you break that cycle and you know what it's like to create the safety for yourself and practice taking that in, and then you do the work to bolster that, the mindset, the communication, and the boundary work, then it becomes much easier, not only for you to be in relationship with your mother, but it also makes it easier for you to be in relationship with anybody else. Because this applies to any type of relationship because what you're doing is creating a secure attachment in healthy relationships. So you've basically repaired the attachment system. And once you know what that looks like, it's like gold. You're not giving that up to go back into that emotional cycle that maintains the mother wound. So that is really the approach. Getting to the point to where you accept that she is not capable or that she is not willing to change. And the only way she's going to change is, is if she comes to the knowledge on her own that she needs to do her own work. And that is not your problem. So this illusion of the desired mother then becomes what you, what you need to jettison. You need to throw that away because you're doing the work to try to get your mother to do the work. And that's not your job. And so, guys, if this resonates with you, be sure to comment in the, the comments below and let me know exactly where you feel you are in this process. Are you still holding on to that delusion of the desired mother? Or are you at the point of acceptance? Are you saying, hey, listen, I'm not going to take this no more. I, I, I know that she's not going to change. And so what is it that I need to do to get to the next step? Let me know because right now I'm offering to work with a few more people. I've got four spots open to work with 
other women who want to break this cycle, who are tired and sick and tired and they just, I just need to know what to do. I'm going to do the work. I'm committed to doing the work. I've got four spots open for free. It, there's no charge. There's no strings attached. These are free sessions. I have people doing it now who can tell you about it. And so if you are ready to break this emotional cycle and get to the point to where you are living as a thriving, independent adult who is separate from your mother, because what happens is that your mother sees you as an extension of herself. She sees you as the person carrying on the legacy of these patterns that she's been taught and that she's passed on to you. And when you try to fight back against that, when you, when you finally say, I'm sick of this, I'm not doing this anymore. This is what you did to me. You hurt me. And she starts to say, well, what's your problem? I, I know you're not talking to me like that. You don't have a right to challenge me, this or that and the other. When you are able to use the skills that I teach, you won't have that problem anymore. And people are like, I won't? Nope. You may not have your mother anymore either, not physically, but you will have what you've always desired. And it's a reality, not an illusion. So let me know in the comments below. And hopefully um, some of you will take up me up on the offer and we can get started. And you will experience uh, a transformation like none other. Because the mother wound is a deep trauma. And when you're able to integrate that trauma and see the whole picture and see that now I'm in the driver's seat. I no longer have to let this narrative follow me around. Well, I can't ever get my mother to see, so there must be something wrong with me or I'm just damaged or, you know, I'm never going to live this full life because I don't have the right kind of mother. You don't need it. A lot of people don't have the right kind of mother. And they've learned to, they've, they've, first of all, their mindset around that whole comment has changed. And they realize that I'm an adult. I survived the, the damage that she did to me. And I'm actually able to have a much better life without her. Even if I talk to her every once in a while, she is not in the driver's seat. And that's the key. So now you know the real reason you're not healing the mother wound. And if you want to delve into that three-pronged approach that I talked about earlier to help you disrupt that root programming that keeps you stuck in that emotional cycle, be sure to download my free trauma recovery coaching primer to help you dismantle that root programming and you can click the link below to get that resource. Also be sure to connect with me on Instagram at Fear Minimalist and Facebook at Fear Minimalist where we can carry on the conversation in more depth about healing the mother wound. All right and that'll do it for today guys. If you liked this video hit the like button below, share with your friends, drop a comment, let me know what you took away from this video and what you'd like to see if there is something that I didn't touch on or that you felt like and to elaborate a little bit more on, be sure to drop a comment below to let me know. And be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell so that you will always know when I upload new content every single week. And remember that the sun is gonna rise and shine bright tomorrow. The question is, are you going to rise with it and allow your best self to shine? I hope you do, and I will see you next week. Bye.